Your Excellency, the um, former President and the Speaker of the House, Honorable Ratipelli and Honorable um, Cabinet Ministers, Assistant Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament, Cabinet Secretaries, the uh, heads of the uh, diplomatic missions, the Excellencies, High Commissioners, Ambassadors and members of the diplomatic corps, the Commander of RFMF, Admiral Napoto, the Commissioner of Police, Commissioner Tundra. Ladies and gentlemen, Ensemble of Naka. Namaste. Nihao. My Morgan. Very good morning to you. For those of you who were here yesterday, welcome back to the State House. And please bear with me because I'm going to go through what I told everyone yesterday. Because I believe it's important prudent and appropriate that I go through what I told everybody yesterday and the nation about the importance and significance of yesterday's first investiture, today's second investiture, and two or three more towards the end of the week and probably next week as well. And on behalf of my wife, Sarate, and the staff, so nice to see you all. And as your president and chancellor of the order, Fiji, we're extremely pleased and equally honored and very thankful indeed that we can uh, come together again this morning as fellow Fijians to attend the second investiture which has been scheduled for this week and a couple more weeks to come because of the uh, tyranny of distance and other challenges. You know, uh, we may not be able to uh, conduct all the investors in one week or in one go. Now, it's important that we um, come together and celebrate the 50th anniversary of our independence and to acknowledge and appropriately reward individuals like the recipients yesterday and today and the next couple of days who had served selflessly and contributed immensely towards Fiji's socio-economical and political progress and development over this period of 50 years with the anniversary medal. Now, furthermore, as the Chancellor of the Order of Fiji, I had asked the chairperson, as I reminded you yesterday, and members of the college here, Dr. Kenriati and the team, that despite the limited number of medals to be presented for a number of reasons, now they are to ensure that this special and historic commemorative medal is presented to deserving members of the public, private sectors, and civil society. And this Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you once again, it's in conformity with my wish to further nurture and promote these institutions and hopefully our national psyche and culture of appreciation and inclusivity. As the um, President may I remind you once again of my primary role and responsibility, I'm the pillar for national unity. So I try my best to get people together. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the present COVID-19 pandemic, as you know, has had a profound effect on our national plan to commemorate our 50th anniversary independence celebrations, resulting in a somewhat scaled down version of our overall national celebrations program, sadly. But this should not dampen our Fijian can-do spirit, nor deviate our focus and attention 
from the fact that within a period of half a century since independence, our young and developed nation has evolved into an acceptable level of universal social, political, and economical maturity that we should all be proud about in today's unpredictable and uncertain global environment that we live in. Interesting and very challenging times indeed. Not only for our small nation, but the rest of the global community, as you know. Beginning today, we will be celebrating a nationwide week-long program of events to mark our collective progress and development as a nation and people. A justifiably significant and historical occasion which we should be celebrating in style. But for the economic and medical constraints consequent upon the effects of the pandemic. That's why you notice that you now we're trying to conform to the social distance. And we'd like to cramp more people into this uh, ante room. But uh, we've got to respect the wishes of uh, the Minister of Health and his officials. Now, as uh, most of us who are present here today, as I reminded the uh, recipients yesterday, should be able to recall that a quarter of a century ago, uh, for those of us who some are gray, in my case, but none are very little up there, the then government of the day awarded 755 serving members of our beloved nation with a similar commemorative medal to mark our first 25 years of independence. Wow. I'm still going to I still wear mine with great pride and hope that those of you who will be receiving yours today will also share with me the same proud and patriotic feeling that we belong to a nation which cares for its people and rewards them accordingly for their individual and collective efforts at nation building. It's good to hear the birds. It's a sign that all is well. We had a bit of rain, but now the rain has stopped and the birds are singing. So we thank the Almighty that we uh, are being blessed. By doing this, ladies and gentlemen, we are proclaiming to our citizens and to our wider global community that this is who we are. We are Fiji, a small and developing independent sovereign state which is punching above its weight. Now, this is a phrase that's been coined around and I'd like to um, echo it once again. We are punching above our weight in leading the world community by passionately addressing some global problematic issues. You know most of them. Like today's present, very real, and serious threat to the survival of humanity, and that is climate change. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my humble opinion that despite the new norm, interesting, New norm which has been unfortunately imposed upon humanity by the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic, we can still rejoice and celebrate certain events in life by being positive and firm in our faith in the Almighty that our beloved Fiji is blessed. And as a nation and people, we should be forever grateful, hope and embrace the future together and believe that the next 50 years and beyond. The journey into the future ahead would be peaceful and equally prosperous. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations once again to all the recipients, and I look forward to meeting you after this and in the next couple of days when my staff and I will be traveling to other parts of our country to present the other deserving members of our various communities the same 50 years commemorative independence medal. Nasavaliu Danewat Sheshe. So thank you and God bless.
distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Distinguished Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen.